first ten. A C E information has already come. First month, Baisak already finished. Second month, Jest also completed. Third month, Asad started and third day over. Now this day will never come in your life, in my life also. The time which is gone, means gone. So, we have to make our present time very smart. Why are you playing with that ruler? You are ready you guys have to play with it. So, which chapter are we doing? Force and motion. Once, let's do recap. And after some time, today's presenter, Niraj uh, and Bhatt. Okay. And which super guru? They will come here. You can see here one diagram. Can you see one diagram? So, what is this? Solar system. Right. Solar system means at the center there is sun, and here are other heavenly bodies. Uh, especially those notable heavenly, heavenly bodies are given here. The planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And here are more other heavenly bodies you can see here. A long tail star also we can call it comet, right? So there is existence of solar system because of one force. What is that force called? Gravitational force. <coughs> or force of gravitation, or we simply we can say gravitation, right? So, when we talk about this gravitation, we need to remember about these two theories. How many theories? Two. two. What are they? Heliocentric theory and geocentric theory. Helio. What do you mean heliocentric theory? Sun, Sun lies at the center and Earth goes around it. See, this is Earth is going. It, it seems you might have got confusion that the Earth is here and Sun is rotating. Not like that. This this uh, broken path is here, right? This broken path is called orbit, right? The imaginary line through which the Earth revolves around the Sun is called orbit. Moon also has got orbit, right? Moon revolves around the Earth. The Earth revolves around the Sun because of force of gravitation. Gravitation, not gravity. I didn't say gravity. Eh? Gravitation. And the belief that the sun lies at the center and other heavenly bodies go around it. That is heliocentric theory. And another belief was there earlier. Yes. Earth, lies in the Earth lies at the center and other heavenly bodies revolve around it. Sometimes it seems true also, right? The, the bodies, they go around that. Or in the morning, sun is in the east side. Evening time it is in west side. So it makes confusion, but no need to get confusion. Earth is revolving. That is the thing. Because Earth has got two types of motion. What are the two types of motion of Earth? One is going around the sun, that is revolution. What is that? Revolution. Another is yeah, rotation. Yes. Spinning on its own axis. That is called rotation. Rotation and revolution. <laughs> uh, in 16 87 AD, Guru, Guru means Sir Isaac Newton, he propounded one law. What is that law called? Universal law of gravitation. Universal law of gravitation. So, why is it called universal law of gravitation? It is applicable throughout the universe, whether tiny body or Heavenly bodies, right? That is the thing. Uh, there are two parts uh, of universal law of gravitation. But what does the law of uh, universal law of gravity state? Every object in the universe attracts each other with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their center. This is the statement. Two bodies are there. How many bodies are here? Two. One is pen which writes in smart board, another pen which writes in paper pen, paper copies, right? So, there is force of attraction between these two. That force is directly proportional to product of their masses when you multiply them and inversely proportional to 
square of the distance between their center. Two conditions are here. What are the two conditions? You just check it. What is one? F proportional to M1 times M2. Mass, when the mass increase, gravitational force also increases. Suppose here are two bodies. Here are two bodies. So their distance is same. Yes or no? So where is more force of gravitation between them? First one or second one? Second one. Why? More masses, more force of gravitation we can compare. But if there is only one body, one condition we cannot compare. For example, uh, one person went for interview and the person who was there to ask the questions, he just drew one line. What do you do? You drew one line and ask. Okay. Is it longer or shorter? Yeah. Shorter. We cannot say longer also shorter because there is only one, no? So, in the person who has given, who has gone for interview, he becomes smart and he has done two lines. He drew one line like this and he drew another this line. And then he said, sir, line one is longer than line two and shorter than line three. This is the idea, no? We have to apply here. Because if there is only one body, we cannot compare. So, it is given. When the mass increases, force of gravitation increases, that is directly proportional. But look at here. How many bodies are here? But one body lies here, another body lies here. Now, distance became how much? 3D. Now, what do you think? Gravitational force increase or decrease? In between these two or between? Where is more gravitational force? In first case or in second case? In first case. But when the distance increases, force decreases. That is why, what can you say? When the distance between their center increases, Gravitational force decreases inversely proportional to each other. So, this thing sometimes they may ask you to derive F equals to capital G M1 M2 by D squared. What is F? F is force. Gravitational force between two bodies. What is capital G? Gravitational constant. Gravitational constant. It has fixed value as well, right? And M1, mass of first body. M2, G1. And children, when we complete our these eight chapters, then what do we do? I will bring um, government books PDF and we will be revising from there also. So you will be heavy traded as well, right? Okay, you, uh, how do you define universal gravitational constant? Uh, the universal gravitational constant is defined as the gravitational bodies of the mass separated by the universe. Gravitation or force of gravitation produced between two bodies. What are your bodies? Yeah. Having unit masses. What do you mean unit masses? Unit masses. Masses means their mass is how much kg? Mass of each body is 1 kg. Again, there is given unit distance. Unit one distance meter. means, yeah. 1 meter. Suppose, here is one body whose mass is how much? 1 kg. Here is another body whose mass is how much? And how far are they? Then this force is equal to gravitational constant. Right? Gravitational constant. If there are two bodies, each having mass 1, 1 kg, and the distance between them is how much? 1 meter. At that time, that gravitational force is called? Gravitational constant. What is the value? 6.67 kg per meter square. Yeah, kg minus 2. But in our option, it was given like that. No, that's why it is wrong. Understood or not? It should be like that. It should be in the same side. Right? Uh, who calculated the value of universal gravitational constant? Do you know? The value of gravitational constant was calculated by Henry Cavendish. Henry Cavendish. 
uh, Henry Cavendish has done next job also. He was a chemist and he discovered hydrogen. <coughs> hydrogen was discovered by Henry Cavendish. In class when we studied, but when we reached in class we forgot. We are the very champion to forget, not to remember, right? And if it is a matter of our own interest, we can remember many more things also. Uh, children, you have discussed already about relation of gravitation with its factors. If mass is increased, gravitational force also increases. If distance is increased, gravitational force decreases. If both mass and distance change, then gravitational force also changes. So we have to do. I told you, always first condition will be there. Children, first condition is F equals to G M1 M2 by D square. And what is given, accordingly it comes. F1. And we have to show the relation. Like what's given here? F1 equals to 4F given, right? That means gravitational force increases how many times? Four times. Four times. Second one, what is what is found here? Here's the same thing. Gravitational force increases four times. And another, what is here? Uh... Or oh, every time they have got same thing. They are very chambu. Yeah. yeah, they are doing similar type of some chambu. Oh, here, here. What is given here? What is found? One by, one F1 equals two. to 1 by 4 F means gravitational force one by four. changes 1 by 4 times. Or it decreases 4 times. 1 by 4 means decreases. If multiplied, increases. If there is, yeah, if divided, then that is decreases. Here are some numerical problems also. Like, read the question here. Or oh, this question was discussed earlier also, right? So, force, distance. Distance is uh, half, I think. Half means change to uh, half of it, divide by two, and got it here. Okay. Accordingly, we have discussed many more things. Now, let's discuss about today's presentation. Uh, who is today's presentator? Nirajan Bhatta. Give him a big round of applause. And who is Super Guru? Simresh Mahajan. Okay. So, you might have studied well. Simresh. Now, Sorry, which one? Uh, you want to explain from this side or that side? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 A presentation on the topic of falling objects. Uh, you can see uh, there is a figure also. Uh, the earth is constantly bombarded by the object from space. Uh, ranging, from, oh, ranging from the microscope dust particles to massive asteroids. While most of these objects ground up in the atmosphere, some manage to reach the earth's surface. These flying objects play or Falling objects play a scientific role yes, in yes, yes, yes. significant role in the uh, shaping our planet and influencing the life as we know it. Like this, uh, <laughs> meteors and meteorites. Uh, one there is comic, uh, comic, cosmic, cosmic uh, debris. Meteors are simple, small pieces of rock or dust that that enter the Earth's atmosphere at high speed. The friction caused by their entry creates heat causing them to blow a like, glow and leave a bright trail across the sky we often refer to see to these events as shooting stars and there is while most matters are small and harmless larger ones can cause significant damage up, uh, upon impact in the past massive sig meteorites Meteorites impact have played a major role in shaping the Earth's land surface and even 
स्टडी ऑफ मेटेट इज एंड ब्रांच ऑफ एस्ट्रोनोमी एंड जियोलॉजी साइंटिफिक एनालाइज दिस दिस to learn about the uh, origins of solar system and the composed of distance <laughs> hills and formation of hill stones from the thunder stones when water droplets are carried high into the atmosphere where they freeze as the uh, hill stones are twisted around by strong of drafts they Uh, they accumulate layers of ice growing larger with each cycle in fact the size and the speed of hail stones determine the <coughs> determine the stability of the impact smaller ice stones may cause minor damage while uh, larger ones can cause significant damage to vehicles roofs and other structures and this send when the hail when the hail stones become too heavy to be supported by the off drafts they descend to ground often causing damage to crops property and flying the uh, flying aircraft uh, air ships while not technical technically failing falling objects of airplanes are designed to descend the gear just fully under controlled condition uh, aircraft utilize utilize aerodynamic aerodynamic and engine engine power to achieve controlled flight and landing safety features uh, modern aircrafts are equipped with various safety features to ensure a safe landing including landing gear flaps and spoilers these features help slow down the aircraft and provide provide, provide stability stability and during this descent and emergency landings in rare cases airplanes may experience emergency emergency that requires an uncontrolled descent known as a crash <coughs> landing these events are often caused by uh, mechanical failures pilot error or unforeseen scene circumstances thank you now i like to call <laughs> एग्जाम्पल <laughs> so this is a spring balance suppose uh, this is a stone which has the weight of something like 200 gram stone is and this is also another spring balance so in this spring it is and so it is a uh, this spring balance shows 200 kg and it shows zero so when a spring balance is hold like this so it shows the correct weight of the stone when it is fall then it shows zero reading of the stones this is also an example of weightless so here is one example of meteor and meteors so we see many meteors at the night our earth has an atmosphere so this is an meteor so meteors are the small pieces of rocks or dust that enter the earth's atmosphere at high speeds so due to friction they be, uh, they burn and they finished due to air resistance they uh, finished at the atmosphere which protects our earth so air resistance protects our earth from these meteors another one is hails so we know what is hails is wells are made from the frozen water so they are big, very big in size in comparisons so due to air resistance they become melt and they they form small pieces into the ground 
Flying aircraft. Suppose this is an airplane. So airplane has two main parts. One is wings and one is tails. So pilots move the plane with the help of these wings and these tails. So due to air resistance, they change the direction of this airplane. So while not technically falling of this airplane are designed to descend gracefully under control conditions, aircraft utilize aerodynamics and engine power to achieve control, flight and landing. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Presentator. And which one? Um Super Guru. One Super Guru is absent and uh, who is next Super Guru? BBK is there. BBK are Super Guru or Super Sleepy Girl? Make back one straight. Darkan. Oh my god. Okay. So objects they fall towards the earth surface because of its gravity. Because of yeah. gravity. And you can see here, these are baby bodies. They may not fall also, right? Till the engine functions well. They can fly because they do the work against gravity, as well, right? And rocket, can it go out of the Earth's pulling power or not? Earth's gravitational field, we can see. Earth's gravitational field means so there is one region. This is Earth, and Earth can pull the objects up to this area, but rocket. You can go straight away from the earth, right? Yeah. I think Chandrayaan 2, it was landed on the surface of moon, right? <laughs> so, its speed was more than 9.8 meter per second because the acceleration due to gravity is how much? 9.8 meter per second. But if the flying object's speed is that much, then it cannot go away. So its speed must be more than 9.8 meter per second. And when it reaches out of this one, then it can attain anything also because nothing will pull it. <coughs> Here is given meteors and meteorites. In the chapter <coughs> Geology and Astronomy, it comes. This is Earth. What is this? What is this one? This is the reason up to which of the Earth's gravity can be felt, right? So there are many numerous bodies in the sky. Sometimes some bodies may reach in Earth's atmosphere. It means in this pulling part. These bodies are called meteoro meteoroid. Please make concept clear, right? Those solid particles which reach up to the Earth's gravitational field. What is it called? Meteoroid. Meteoroid. And this part is made up of air or not? Is it air? Then when these bodies, they enter in Earth's atmosphere, they collide, they strike with air particles. Due to collision, they burn. Because friction is produced and they burn and sometimes they completely disappear and those burning things are called, what do you call them? What do you call them? Or meteors. Those burning things, they completely burn. Sometimes the size of meteorite is bigger. It does not burn completely inside it and may reach on the earth surface also. What is it called? Meteor meteorites. What, whatever the solid objects reaches in Earth's atmosphere, that is called meteoroid. They strike with air particles and burn completely. Shooting star, falling star, tutta watara, or meteor. Yes or no? 
wish fulfilling tara so by looking they are there to wish what wish will wish yes or no for laboring not no no any activity and looking there and wish wish pura ho jaye wish what wish pura ho labor hard what i wish also will be fulfilled right and if it is bigger in size then it may not burn completely some will some part will remain down that is called meteor rise nowadays there is atlantic ocean <coughs> it is said that earlier there was no ocean big meteorite fell in that place then it the part went down and it it was full of water and it was formed in america also there is one reason right now i forgot the name big meteorite as far as right hails have you seen hails are yeah. sometimes a hail stone may fall down <laughs> asina asina definitely last time i read news about asina uh, its uh, size was up to 5 kg also 5 kg it just it fell in pohara and some of the uh, cars or wood was damaged and the person who were sitting at the top also they got all of a sudden it may fall no because that hail falls before the heavy rain falls then they were traveling fell down to tulko <laughs> yes or no <laughs> air clouds so uh, these air caps also or airplanes do they go directly up <laughs> no they have got some certain uh, angle because of that angle only they can fly well that is aerodynamics what is it called Aero. aerodynamics so they have to make some sort of angle to fly in the sky and while landing they just change the angle while um flight again next angle isn't it these are the things so chapter is like this so you have i think done uh, mcq and difference between right now your duty is to read one second the chapter and do uh, short very short question answer that is your homework today okay please read once again and start writing so tomorrow we will discuss more question answers ah whose presentation is tomorrow finish whose finish presentation over then i will give you um presentation work for other students uh, in tomorrow's day time we will be discussing diagrammatic questions and numericals i'll guide you okay diagrammatic and numerical so short questions who is after nirajan finish who is your number 2 abian uh, bian short questions uh, 50% you will do A to your Q P Q means uh, A to H A to H B N and I to P Q. Roll number three. Which number three? B B K. Super Guru also. I to Q. Okay. Then uh, which after B B K? A Pooja na. Pooja na long question answers. A to D. A to D, okay. And uh, who is after Pooja na? Asarnia. E to I. E to I, okay. Now who is after Asarnia? Uh, Sarvendra. Sarvendra. A to S. A to S. Sarvendra. And I to Q. Simres. So their presentation during evening time. and tomorrow and this numericals and diagrammatic we will discuss in detail is that clear okay please start reading and writing right?